America's largest retailer, Walmart, has announced that they will be requiring masks to be worn at all their stores, and this also includes Sam's Club, and this policy will go into effect July 20th, which is next Monday. Now, this is definitely a step in the right direction, but I also want to add that 65% of Walmarts and Sam's Clubs are located in areas where masks are already required when out in public. And uh, for the 35% of Walmart and Sam's Club locations, which are not, uh, you know, already required by, you know, their local constituencies, this is definitely a step in the right direction because, I mean, this is a pandemic. Over, <coughs> excuse me, 3 million uh, people have been infected with this virus that we know of, and 130,000 Americans have died from this. In just the past couple months, 130,000 people and, 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 it's, and it's rising. Like the total amount of cases is starting to spike in many states throughout the country. In Florida, it seems like every single day they're hitting a new record. You know, 15,000 cases the last time I looked at it in just one day. I mean, that's, that's, insane. that's a lot of people who are catching this virus. And I feel like a lot of our elected officials are just you know, it's, it's like they're they're incompetent. Like, and it starts at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, I mean, the, the guy's a, a freaking moron and he is not the president that I would want to have in, you know, a crisis like this because he's he's just ignorant. And a lot of his uh, constituents are ignorant as well. Like I've seen people post on Facebook saying that, you know, this is taking away your freedom, your liberties. Um, and, and it's like all, all you have to do is just put on a fucking mask and you're, you're helping prevent the spread of this virus. It's not a hoax. You know, I, I, I've, I've even heard people say that if you want to prevent COVID-19, just turn off the news. You know, stuff like that makes me beyond angry because, you know, I, I, my, my girlfriend that I've been with for, you know, almost nine years now, um, you know, the love of my life, uh, she works as a respiratory therapist at the largest hospital in Cleveland and she deals with COVID patients and um, you know when she comes home uh, we have a system where you know we have like these uh, blue uh, sterilite bins that um, you know are either right next to the balcony door or they're on the balcony and we put she puts all her clothes in that bin and then we put the uh, the lid back on and anytime that either one of us does laundry we wear disposable gloves and, uh, and you know, it's these are the kind of precautions that we have taken. And also on top of that, she um, Lysol wipes down her shoe, the bottom of her shoes, anytime she comes in to, to, to the apartment. And I mean, these are the kind of steps that we're having to take in personally in our lives uh, to not get sick from this COVID-19. And, uh, you know, I, I just, it, it makes me angry that people can be so willingly ignorant when it comes to this. It's not a freaking hoax. I mean, she's seeing people die from this, man. It's a very crappy way to go out. But for those who think that, you know, this is a hoax and that the masks are somehow infringing on your liberties and freedom, don't wear them in public then, fine. But I think that us as a society need to say, hey, look, for all the people who think it's a hoax and it's a conspiracy and don't wanna wear masks, the government should put their names on freaking lists. And when they catch COVID-19 from their willing, from their willingness to be stupid, then they don't they don't need to go to the they don't go to the hospital. You don't why would you go to a hospital for something that's a hoax or is not true? Um, you know, if 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 you think that this is all a conspiracy and you catch COVID-19, don't go to the freaking hospital. You know, go go to Alex Jones website and go get some grizzly bear ball sack vitality pills or whatever the fuck that uh, snake oil salesman uh, scam artist sells. I mean, go, 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 go to him since, since, uh, you know, this is a hoax, you know, I, I mean, it's just, it, it just makes me angry. Like people are just ignorant and, and, you know, in any other important matter in your life, such as, you know, let's say, I mean, and especially when it's a health related issue, you usually go to a doctor or, you know, if, if your car breaks down and you're not a mechanic, then you are going to go to a mechanic to get your car looked at or, you know, if you, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's say a pipe burst in your basement, you're probably going to call a plumber. You know, these people, that's, they're trained in those fields to do what they do. You're not going to call, uh, I don't know, 
a, a, a plumber to give you uh, an analysis on, I don't know, like a, a, a heart condition, or you're, and you're not gonna call uh, someone who works at McDonald's to go, you know, repair your car. Like, it, it's just, it's like, it, like there, there's this disconnect for a lot of Americans who, when it comes to listening to experts, like Dr. Fauci has been a doctor for over 50 years. He, he, he knows about viruses and people are thinking like, oh, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But this meme I'm seeing on Facebook, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the proof I'm going to use against him. A man who spent 50 years as a, over, over 50 years as a doctor. Um, it's just unbelievable how willingly ignorant Americans can be sometimes, man. And, you know, it's unfortunate that in a time of crisis, instead of coming together, people are seeing this as a political issue. And let me just be clear, and this is the last thing I want to say. A virus is here to spread, and that is all it cares about. That's all it cares about. Doesn't matter what your political or religious beliefs are. That's all it care that's all a virus cares about doing is spreading and infecting as many people as possible. And that's that's the that's the reality of the matter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and have a nice day. Peace.